Man United have already strengthened their midfield by signing Fred from Shakhtar Donetsk this summer, but Jack Wilshere is now going to be available on a free transfer after he confirmed he's leaving Arsenal at the end of his contract. Would you take Wilshere at Man United? Now, with Wilshere being available on a free transfer, obviously it wouldn't cost Man United any money at all to sign him, but do you think he would actually be a suitable player and would you want to see him play for Man United? The first criticism or concern that anybody would have about Wilshere, look at his injury record. But look at the last couple of years. Wilshere played over 2,000 minutes, played over 30 games for Arsenal in the 2017-18 season. And for Bournemouth on loan the season before, he nearly played 2,000 minutes as well. Only reason he didn't go to the World Cup with England was because Gareth Southgate didn't want him there, not because of his fitness concerns. You know, for those 2,000 minutes he's played there in the last two consecutive seasons are more than the last three years combined, dating back to 2013-14. That's the last season where he played a good amount of minutes and then he had three bad years of injuries. But in the last couple of years, his injuries haven't actually been too bad. The real question is whether or not you would want Jack Wilshere at Manchester United. You know, he's 26. I'm so surprised he's not at the World Cup. I thought Southgate should have taken him there. Is it worth Man United taking a gamble? Is he a risk? that could pay off for Man United. Now, I'm not sure whether it is a good enough gamble to take, but I wanted to hear from you. So we asked you on Twitter what you thought about Wilshere to Manchester United. Now, first up, we've got Andrew Saunders. You're saying, yes, you would take a gamble on him. But uh, Proud Red 82 you're saying his wages plus his hospital bills will be way too high. Don't want him. Now, as I said, looking at the last couple of years, Wilshere has played a hell of a lot more football than he did in the three years prior to that. So maybe his injury concerns, his major injury concerns, are behind him. We've got Andrew Malloy. You're saying, no, I don't rate him whatsoever. He was okay at best last season. And the season before, he wasn't even Bournemouth's best midfielder. I would rather give Pereira, McTominay or Fosu Mensah a chance. Now, if we're looking at United's squad depth in midfield, yes, we signed Fred, but I could still see United signing another central midfielder. Pereira, he was sent out on loan last year. He had a good season on loan, but whether or not he comes back and makes it at United remains to be seen because Mourinho wanted Pereira to stay at the club, but Pereira wanted game time and went and got that in the Liga. McTominay, obviously one of our breakthrough players last year. Do you think McTominay has got a long-term future at United? Let me know in the comments below whether you'd like to see McTominay continue to get minutes or whether you'd like to see Wilshere signed instead. And Fosu Mensah. I love Fosu Mensah. Out of those three players, he's the one that excites me the most. But for one reason or another, Mourinho chose to send him on loan to Crystal Palace last year. I think that was probably a right choice, given the context of him getting game time. But then in the last 10 games of the season, he wasn't used by Roy Hodgson at right back. He did have a good few games there towards the start of the loan spell, but not towards the end. Midfield is where, for me, he played best for the under-21s. But whether he gets that chance at United, I'm not sure. We've got Dean. Baron underscore Dean, you're saying the fact that perennial losers Arsenal are letting him go for free should answer your question. Now, Emery, I think, just doesn't want Wilshere in his system. A bit like Southgate not taking Wilshere to the World Cup. It doesn't mean that Wilshere's a bad midfielder. It just means that Wilshere doesn't fit the system that Southgate wants to build. I think that's the same thing with Emery there. Uh, we've got uh, PK or PK saying, would rather drown myself before seeing Wilshere in a United shirt. Don't sit on the fence or anything, mate. We've got Johnny, Johnny Seals, you're saying, without a doubt, love a good doggy midfielder, sign him up. That's one thing Wilshere does have a bit of bite to him. He's, well, he's a bit of a dick, I suppose. And sometimes the midfielders who are a little bit of a dick are the best ones, Roy Keane. Not putting him in the same category as Roy Keane, just saying Roy Keane had that side to him. Um, we've got Riz Kyrad saying for a backup, yes, I would take him. We've got Merlin United saying, is he a plan B when all our creative players have tired? What makes him so special, useless in both boxes and brings nothing new? I think you're being a little bit harsh on Wilshere there. But what you can clearly see, I can go on and on. There's, lo there's lots and lots of replies. One from Sarah Horrocks, you're saying, uh, no, thank you. Greg Taylor saying, fuck that. Uh, Mark Huddleston saying, yes, I'd offer him a two-year pay-as-you-play deal. A real mixed bag of responses. And I'm not sure I expected that. I expected majority to say flat, no chance, Wilshere. But with Mario and Fellaini leaving on a free in a couple of weeks, and Wilshere being available in a free, if we got rid of Fellaini and brought Wilshere in, and no transfer fees were involved in either, I think United's squad would be in a better place. 
Wilshere, for me, offers more as a midfielder than Marrow and Fellaini does. And if Fellaini goes to Arsenal, Wilshere comes to United, and Wilshere really finds his feet again and becomes, fulfills, I suppose, that potential that he did have right at the start. Arsenal fans will always hark on about his performance against Barcelona. That Wilshere was immense. And the Wilshere I've seen in the last couple of years has progressively got better than he had been in the three years previous. But it's certainly a debate that's going to split fans. And I want to know from you. Let me know in the comments your reasons why you would want to sign Wilshere and if you don't want to, the reasons why you wouldn't want to sign Wilshere. As always, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe. Plenty of United content going out on here. Um, we'll see you soon. Take it easy.